Today we only have one goal, to murder as many dinosaurs as possible. Not only so that I could ride them, but so that we can make them join our army. The stronger we get, the stronger dinosaurs we can kidnap. We bring them all to the end of the level where we can therefore merge them together. Then we get a green dinosaur. From there, we force them to fight to the death. I think ours are going to win because they're much stronger. As a reward for making them fight, we get an upgrade to our damage and fire rate times two. Then we're going to take a little more damage again and we're ready to start all over again. This time we're going to kill that dinosaur super quick. We're going to get dual shots out of this. We're going to get double guns so we have double double shot. And then we got Barney. Didn't think I'd be riding Barney today. And there's that dinosaur and then $80, 80 damage to kill whatever that was. Double, double shot. That should be good enough to murder these morons. So two purples become a green, two greens become a blue. We're a flying water dinosaur. Not as sure how this fight's gonna go because they have a red fire-breathing dragon that's also a toddler in the background. It does AoE damage, but our green dinosaur is incredibly strong as it turns out. It one-shotted that baby. Then fire rate goes up, and then damage goes up again. It's a good thing we put on our cowboy outfit this morning. We'd look ridiculous without it. Fire rate's going up, double gun, fire distance. We're able to hit these morons from farther away. We're gonna get another Barney. We're gonna try and get you. Dual shot, so we have dual dual shot at least. I didn't expect to be needing so much math today. Okay, that thing's still at 2500 HP left. Oh, there's a green dinosaur. Can we get that? Probably no. Well, at least we tried, which is more than I do for most other things in my life. The Barney dinosaurs are easy. We probably could have gotten that other one, but we can only die so many times before I feel stupid. But we brought a lot of these idiots together now, like a lot of them, so we're going to merge into some kind of monstrous dinosaur. So we get what's beyond the blue one, which is a spiky that thing. Not entirely sure if that's a scientific name, but you get the idea. I basically name things by describing them. So far our dinosaurs are absolutely destroying those, although our green one is finally taking some damage. Actually, so is our spiky one, but they're fighting a toddler, so it's not exactly resilient. I'm hoping we can get our damage and fire rate into the millions, that way we can instantly take down every stupid dinosaur. But we'll find out what we have to deal with here. Plus 8 fire rate is actually huge, dual shot obviously double damage. More fire rate, we won't be able to take down the gecko, but maybe this one. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take down that one and then this one. And okay, this should be really easy to take down both of these, cause damage. Get in there, my little morons. Okay, so we got a nice uh, variety of dinosaurs. We're going to spread them out because uh, strategy. To be fair, that does kind of work because the dinosaur in the back has AOE. So if my dinosaurs are grouped up, we're in trouble. Though I feel like we won that fight. Because I've collected three golden axes, I apparently get three golden eggs full of gold. And whatever these things are. I'm sure they're very helpful in their own little way. We'll get a few upgrades and start on our murdering spree again. Do you think we can buy both of these at the same time? Yep, we sure can. Okay, well we're gonna ignore the gecko dinosaur, we're gonna- whoops, go around him. I'm probably the only person in history who's ever actually screwed this game up. It's pretty easy to walk through the gates that are green. It's basically a color association game. Walk through the green, don't touch the red, and I screwed that up. Ah, uh, that's still not as bad as watching someone screw it up. Cruising gently to the end, we actually have a lot of green dinosaurs to work with. So this should mean we get a spiky, and then two spikies make a flying duck. We'll put the blue duck over there, that goes there, and we'll let them fight to the death. They have a purple dragon this time. Well, we lost our purple dinosaur, but I'm pretty sure our flying ones will hopefully make it over to the fireballs. And once they get there, they one-shot those, so it's no problem whatsoever. A lucky spin. I wish I saw this sooner. 220 coins. Not the most exciting in the world. I guess that is still a few good upgrades. I'm mostly going to do these evenly because it's efficient. I know efficiency isn't normally my thing, but sometimes it has to be. In a game this challenging, we need all the help we can get. I'm just going to walk straight for a second because that seems to be doing us well. I'm flying on a swimming dinosaur. Think about that for a second. A swimming dinosaur and we're riding it through the air. But we just got two of them. How come I make it to this part and I don't get to shoot these guys with my gun? I shoot my own dinosaurs with my gun. So many things that will keep me up at night. Okay, our spikes are going into the flying duck thing, which turn into a triceratops which is hopefully really strong because I currently have two dinosaurs in total one of which isn't going to be very strong so I might need to kind of spread out my dinosaur distribution so maybe having more dinosaurs is going to be helpful because it will, it will at least distribute the damage we're not here to think we're just here to put way too much time into silly ideas and see what happens so I'm going to go something like this now we have five different dinosaurs of varying strengths all to attack them but at least we won't get steamrolled that worked so much better. Obviously having strong dinosaurs is better, but if you've got five that are also decently strong, it's okay. Now that I've learned the secret of this game, nothing will stop us. Our damage is up to level 10. So combine that with double gun and double gun double shot and we're firing a lot at once. Then we're going to get fire rate and distance up. Combine that with some more fire rate and all of these dinosaurs are going to die. That one's got 6600. I don't think we're going to quite take this one down. That's okay, we already have one of those. 
you know what? I'm going to be a rebel against this game. It's a merge game. I'm not going to merge a single thing. Let's just let them all fight. Now we're taking 8 on 1. This is way easier. Oh, never mind. We're going to start to find really, really high level dinosaurs just wandering around like this. Like here's a flying swimming dinosaur. It's just chilling there. All we got to do is shoot it and we got it. Didn't mean to touch whatever that was. Probably should have done this the other way around, but that's okay. 6400. I want whatever that thing was. Okay, we only took a little bit of its health off, so we got to try a little harder. Our damage is really high, but the beauty of it is I can just keep doing this again and again until we get those dinosaurs. It doesn't matter. Do you think my time is valuable? It is absolutely not. So I don't know if these auto merge. I never really considered that. What is this? Why did we get a free one of these? Oh, maybe these are bonuses I got from somewhere else. I don't really know. We have a lot of dinosaurs. So you know what? Let's just let them all fight. We're going to win this battle easy. It's a numbers game. We have more numbers than them and we win. They can attack my dinosaurs all they want. And we got more golden eggs. Obviously full of the rarest treasures of all, like a starving dog dinosaur. I also got $1,500 in total now. Upgrades are getting expensive, but we can afford them. And with that, we're off. We're going to get fire rate, double gun, and extra fire rate. So we're going to melt 240 damage, and even 600 is going to go quick. Plus 7 fire rate, so it's even quicker now. 480 is going to go by in an instant. Another 5 fire rate, so 1600 is also going to go by quick. Our fire rate is actually a lazy beam at this point. A T-Rex would be wonderful. Whoops, I misclick. Or did I? The editors can smooth that over so it doesn't look so bad. Okay, all my dinosaurs are getting here, so they just pile into my storage. There's a storage unit for them all. Actually, what happens if I combine the fireball dinosaurs? We have a blue fireball dinosaur. I really gotta start putting some of these together because we're getting some surplus power. And I'm not really sure what these uh, dog things are, but they're a, okay, a seahorse dragon. And I'm okay, we're oh, we can actually buy them at the end. I didn't realize that before. Well, that's okay because I feel like we hold the advantage in a pretty big way. We have a lot of really high powered dinosaurs. Now it's 12 versus 1. They're dead. Only $891, so we'll just take damage. But my wheel is available for spinning. Oh, we were so close to the dinosaur. Okay, we gotta take down 1,000 HP out of that thing. Made it look easy. I wonder if it's comfortable riding a dinosaur like this without a saddle. Doesn't seem like it would be overly, okay? We're not taking down that dinosaur yet. I really wish this would auto-merge. So we combined, we got lots of those things now. We'll bring up more of our storage idiots. I'm going to move these guys to either side because I think they both fire fireballs. So it'd be nice to not have them die together in AoE bursts. Another easy victory. We're starting to introduce a little bit of luck. We kill the slot machine and it gives us a random reward, whether it's a gate or money. 1200 HP, don't think we're going to be able to take that one down yet. 400 should be easy, 1500 maybe, but let's actually focus on what we can kill. 1000 HP, I don't even want those. We are going to have to start to merge some of these guys together, so uh, we do have some Triceratops and whatever they turn into, like a more horned Triceratops. And then we brought some of our morons out from storage, so we'll go like that. Uh, these little dinosaurs are pretty weak, so yeah, we'll just, yeah, that's fine, go. Oh, they don't have any fireballs firing at us this time. So we're going to kill them nice and quick. Uh, their blue thing actually made it all the way to here. A few more upgrades. Let's abduct some more dinosaurs. We got good luck. Are we going to get more good luck? We got double double shot. Oh, never mind. So we got double double shot again or something good. I don't think we're going to be able to take down 10,000 HP. Whatever that thing is. I don't even want that thing. I'm just here to merge dinosaurs together and make them fight to the death. Aside from that, I don't care what happens. We collected a lot of good dinosaurs. 88,000 HP is probably not going to happen. But we did take off 7,000. And forcing dinosaurs into st storage is actually a pretty good problem to have. Now to figure out an efficient way to merge all of these. I would like to give it to some of these basic dinosaurs. But we can actually put these guys together. We got our first T-Rex. Not the most intimidating of them, but 162 attack power. And you know what? We're going to let them fight just like this. They're firing giant fireballs at us. Okay, they're actually destroying us this time. So it's going to take a little bit of grinding to get through this one. Well, we took out one of their flying idiots, but we're about to die ourselves, I think. Oh no, we actually won. Our blue starving dog dinosaur actually defeated it. So let's get right back to it, picking up these arbitrary upgrades. Uh, there's a pretty cheap T-Rex. I might be able to get that. I'm actually going to throw this just to grab that. Did a small amount of grinding, so we'll hopefully be able to take on the big dinosaur. We got him. I'm now riding a T-Rex, firing dual guns, one in either hand. Life is good. And we got the flying blue dinosaur as well, so we just added a giant T-Rex to our arsenal. So we're going to go ahead and let them fight at this point. Our giant T-Rex is tail whipping people. And I'm sure he's going to be strong. So far we're wrecking that team. I can't wait to find out what comes after T-Rex. And we got extra fire distance out of that. We got double gun out of the last one. So we're looking pretty good. Can we take down that dinosaur? We sure can. 2500 might be a bit much. We could take down you. What's this going to be? Yep, fire distance. 
So there's the uh, slot machines right before the end, so that was the best upgrade because we're at the end. So let's start smashing things together and see what kind of monstrosity we're left with. I have such a strange variety of dinosaurs now, it's actually getting hard to deal with. But we got two little T-Rexes, we got a second big T-Rex. So now my confidence is even higher, because it's going to take a lot to knock their health down. They've quickly destroyed all the little ones. We did lose one of the T-Rexes, almost the other one, but then we're fireballing them. Fire rate and damage are both up to level 19. We got some uh, slot machines in this level, so we're just going to take whatever we can get out of those. I wish we could just get double shot, and then double shot, and then double shot, because we could have like 85 bullets wide, and that would destroy absolutely everything. So we gained two new dinosaurs in this round. Yeah, ultimately we would have wound up with nothing forgetting that. But we finished a level. Wait, what did two T-Rexes turn into? That's spiky T-Rex. Well, it's not as exciting as a T-Rex, but I'm sure it's still quite good. Maybe I want to buy one of these little fireball breathing dragons and then one of these too. Actually, yeah, I see. So we can put these together now. We can get rid of these finally. And we can merge these all the way up to one of these. Uh, we don't have a ton of dinosaurs, but I think we got the strength to take these out. The big green dinosaur is an absolute destroyer. He is really taking the health off those things. Uh, we're gonna have to rely on our range damage to finish these off, but I think we got this, just barely. Alright, one more genocide later and we're getting rich. But since we have some money, let's go ahead and upgrade our stats a lot. This one could actually make you really, really overpowered if you got enough good stuff out of these, like that actually. <laughs> now we got all sorts of good stuff going. Uh, we could have actually probably gotten that had we stuck to it. We just got some insane luck though out of that. That was 7,000 HP gone. We'll get both of these in pretty much an instant. Wow, we're melting things. 2,000, oh, 15,000. We could actually take this down. Yep, got it. We got that quick. So we just added a lot of firepower. Plus, if we can find those, we get our first bumpy nose giraffe. I'm not going to combine anything. I like having this many dinosaurs to fight. Really spreads out the damage. Plus, merging the dinosaurs makes them stronger, but you're still better to have two dinosaurs of the tier before. There is double gun again, so we have double double gun or triple double gun at this point. I lost count. 3,000. The last one's 100,000. If we got tons of upgrades, we'd actually be able to take this out. But as it stands, we got 15,000 damage down. We have a super variety of dinosaurs. But we are also fighting a T-Rex and two red dragon looking things. So we'll see if we're able to take these on. I should think we are because we have a ton of different dinosaurs. All doing quite a bit of damage. So they're going to focus on the dragons. They're dead. Okay, we got dual shot and double gun coming up. And if the slot machine pays out, nope. We could get something amazing, but we didn't. We'll take both of those though. And that, there's dual shot again. There's more fire rate. Okay, we can't take out him. He's got 16,000 HP, but with the right upgrades, we could have. And now we got to merge all the dinosaurs because they all went into storage. And we really need to start removing some of these lower tier ones that I'd forgotten about because those are just getting in the way. We have a few free open slots but we'll just let them fight like this. Their team is so much weaker than the last one. I don't know why they're suddenly giving up, but we just wrecked them. I really want so many upgrades we can take on a million damage dinosaur. Mm, that might take a while on the other hand. So for now, we'll just murder whatever we can. There wasn't even any exciting dinosaurs to have on this level. We got a T-Rex like six levels ago. We do have two full-size T-Rexes now, and that just feels right. So we'll maybe make one more little T-Rex since we have a few more dinosaurs in storage anyway. They should work out pretty nicely. Lots of damage going their way. They do have a blue flying dragon, so that might be a bit of a trouble for us. But how much trouble could it be ultimately? Damage level 25 on level 20. Surely level 20's got to have something big to celebrate. It's a nice even number. So far it's got a lot of things to kill, so I'm happy for that. We're going to get dual dual shots, so we're going to be thick with webs. Uh, so far we have collected a lot of nice dinosaurs. There's a T-Rex. Don't know if we're going to get that all the way down. Looks like we will. We're going to take extra fire rate, so we're actually going really good right now. Riding our T-Rex across the final bend, we're going to ignore the golden axe because we're going to murder that guy. And then we're going to smash all these dinosaurs together to see what they turn into. So two T-Rexes turn into the spiky thing. Two baby T-Rexes turn into regular T-Rex. So there's our spiky thing. Two spiky things turn into two of the brontosaurus things. Two of those turn into whatever this is. A dinosaur with a diaper on its head. Good to know. We have so many monsters in storage that I can just sit here and pull them out for a second. We're finally out now. So we're going to buy one more of the fire breathing types. That's actually a really strong team. I just looked at that for the first time. Two T-Rexes, two spiky idiots, and two blue dragon things. So I'm not sure if my diaper dinosaur is up to the task of defeating them. That's actually a lot of damage coming back my way. Probably shouldn't have merged all my dinosaurs together. But at least we know for next time.